Alrighty, well, good morning, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this video, I hope you're having a good day. Um, we are here, I just got back from a little vacation up north. I came back a day early because of what's going on outside. Um, did everything we wanted to do, we could do, and uh, came back. So it is raining out. I'm trying to move stuff around so I can still work, but without putting everything outside. Um, I got the front half of the jet ski out here and it's pouring out. So anyways, today what I'd like to get to, um, I did end up getting a new steering gearbox and a new pitman arm. Um, so we're gonna throw that in and I got this cross member to throw in that I painted last time. Got some bolts for the motor mounts and I'm not gonna say it, but something big might be able to go in today. Maybe not. Um, so stay tuned, stay long. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for everyone for, thank you everyone for stopping in and checking out this video. I appreciate it. Uh, if you could give me a like, I would give you a big hug if I could. Um, but anyways, enjoy. Check in with you later. Alrighty, doing a little voiceover like I did last time. Uh, you can see that earlier in the time lapse, I got that steering gearbox and pitman arm installed. Uh, and you can see that I'm moving on to getting the engine in. Uh, unfortunately, the Presto's tines, fork tines, are not long enough. Uh, so I kind of got to push it back in there and get it to swing. And I made it work. Uh, and here you can see I had the I had an issue with the center uh, motor mount bolt not lining up, so I had to use a little pry bar and get to line up. Uh, but that all went pretty well. You can see I got them tightened down, and then I came back uh, later with the torque wrench and made sure that they were torqued to the 37 foot-pounds. Got the strap off of the forklift, and then you can see that I had to come back with a hammer and straighten my little tabs on the frame. I realized I ran into an issue with the wastegate on the truck. It uh, must be set up for a two-wheel drive because it is pointed right at the idler arm. Uh, last thing you can see, I'm here grinding off the paint on the valley cover bolts because they were white and it was all chipped up and it did not look good. And then here you can see that I'm torquing it down 
So I want to just throw this in here. Um, I got two new AC Delco knock sensors from uh, Rock Auto, and I'm going to throw them in the engine. But the first thing I wanted to do was make sure that they are uh, good before I put them in there and rely on them. We all know that just because it's an AC Delco sensor does not necessarily mean that it's a good one. Um, so I'm going to test this by putting the red lead in the center of the sensor. The black lead goes to the body and move my camera a little bit so hopefully you can see this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the end of it and you can see that in milliamps or millivolts I'm getting like somewhere between 15 and 10 ish gets a little higher the harder that I hit it but you don't need to hit it very hard so that one's good this is another new one it's a little hard to do this with one hand but uh, you can see this one's kind of responding the same way and then this is one that I pulled out of the truck uh, I have no clue if this is good or not to be totally honest with you I haven't even tested it so Looks like this one is good. So um, all three of those are I could use. Of course, I'm going to use the two new ones, and I'm going to throw those in right now. All right, you guys. Well, we had a very successful day. Um, this is where I'm going to end up calling it because it is a work day technically and I uh, got some errands to go run but uh, I'm pretty happy with where we got a uh, little recap got the steering box in everything's torqued and tight um, we got the engine in motor mounts are tight motor mount bolts are tight uh, engine sitting looking pretty good uh, knock sensors are in I did end up taking the white paint off of the valley cover bolts just because I didn't really like how they looked they're kind of nicked up and the paint on them wasn't the prettiest, so got rid of it, and they're just going to be silver, which is fine with me. Um, and that's about everything that we got done today. We were here for about uh, three and a half hours or so. Um, I'm starting to write down on my board over here the things that I have left to do, uh, just so I don't forget about them. So I got to grease the pitman arm and torque the torsion bar bolts. So. Um, that's something that I wanted to get to today, but I'm just kind of running out of time, so I won't leave that for next time. Uh, I have goals next time I see you guys of uh, getting the transmission and the torque converter set up, so we can put that in here. I do have to put a different flex plate on the back of it, so there's some stuff going on, but uh, everything's looking really good. I'm really happy with, you know, how it's turning out, the progress. Uh, the engine looks pretty good sitting in there. Pretty happy with that, so... Um, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys take care. I'll see you next time. Uh, leave a like if you can. Subscribe. Anyways, I appreciate it. See you later. Peace.